Welcome to Stage Crunchy and Milk. If you have any questions or comments, we have multiple ways we can be reached. Around? That is one of the ways. Twitter is, of course, the best way for those of you that need instant gratification in this millennial-based world. And, of course, the show's Twitter feed is at Skimpod. That's S-K-I-M-P-O-D. For the more patient amongst you, which is none of us, let's be honest, the email address for the show is podcast at stayscrunchyandmilk.com. Crunchy again, being spelled with a K. We're also available via Apple Podcast, something I've never heard of. Stitcher Radio. Are any of you still using that shit? TuneIn Radio. Whatever the fuck that is, I, I couldn't tell you. Google Play. I've heard of that. I don't use it, but if you do, thank you. Spotify. Now that one I use, so find us on there. I know we're on there. And of course, at the website, stayscrunchymilk.com. Now I ask that you please rate, review, subscribe, and share the show, because honestly, I don't do that shit. And I need someone to pick up my slack. Now, I hear that there is a group of people here that collectively discuss music, and they provide for you, yes you, a pod call cast. It's a musical discussion show built on a hip-hop foundation, which seems to be what makes the musical world turn these days. And I hear it's pretty swell. Our personal Twitters are Tatum216, Lunchbox2099, The Real ODP, and your host... Internet's Tasty Tayrell 713. Cowboy Bebop's on there, and I've been trying to absorb that before the Netflix series, but now that's got pushed back for a while, so. Part of the problem okay. is the Cavs are entertaining again. Yeah, they've really seem been up there kind of. <clears throat> and now it's like, now I've been watching them, and if I cut the cord on the, on the streaming and everything, yeah. then I don't know how I'm going to watch them because it's not like they got an app or some shit, so. Does the NBA not have an app? But he can't watch local. Like, what the fuck is that bullshit? Yeah, like, in order to watch local, you have to, like, have it on the actual channel. Like, I can't like, get, like, NBA... Sun- oh, you get, you, uh, you get a Disney Plus for free for, for uh, Verizon. If you sign up for a new account. What kind of bullshit is that? Fuck you, love. I thought it was... Somebody just was like, Verizon customers, get in here and come get this. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to see who tweeted that. But... I saw the commercial yesterday, but I think it was, like, for new... Uh, signups or whatever. Yeah, I think you, Hello? Well, well, you should look into it. I heard good things about Mandalorian. So I, I, I got, I have to watch it. With this. I did get oh, the free know? Google Mini from Spotify. So did I. So I, I got the email for it uh, yesterday. Say it was on its way. My, mine too. is supposed to arrive on Tuesday. Cool. Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? They emailed me, me and they're like, "You only got free Google message? Mini while supplies last." And I went on there and like. The really fucking odd colored yeah. ones were already gone. I got the aqua. <clears throat> I got the uh, the coral one, yeah. or not the coral, the um, the gray one, the slate or whatever. Yeah. Were you worried? I wanted the black one, but the thing kept fucking up, me? so I ended up with the gray one. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yes or no. <clears throat> so we out here. Oh, we're recording shit. <laughs> so yeah, everyone knows I have a CPAP machine. <laughs> Worry not. A good. You don't know what happened ahead of this, ahead of me just saying, so we out here. It's uh, Session Milk, Stays Crunchy Milk, episode 327, he says, pretty assuredly. Because <laughs> I thought that's what I said earlier in the week, but I thought we were going to record on Tuesday, but hey, what are we going to do? So, <laughs> we out here doing the goddamn thing. We are in Lunch's Basement Studios. Or, you know, saying we come together every, every so often to record our, our we tries, but then we got to hit up one of these, you know, it's the regular show in the comfy confines, and it's, 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 it's all it's, it's, it's soundproof in a specific way because it's carpet beneath your feet and the acoustic tile above, so it's real good, clean sound. And I know you love it. Well, that, and I'm the only one at this point that doesn't have like a significant other and children running around the house. Oh, my kids were uh, skating tonight, and Vanessa would just go to the damn attic. So. <laughs> Roller skating is one in front and one behind. But what this normally means is you get a full fucking house. So, of course, I'm joined by Tatum216. I am not available here. The homeboy lunchbox, Susie and I now, who owns this place. I do own it. Well, the bank owns, the bank owns, owns it, toward. but I'm... Uh... 30 years, Then let me stay here. <laughs> Actually, no. Today is the official three-year anniversary of me having the keys of this place. 27, 27 years. years. <laughs> yeah. uh, Not if these property values keep going up. <laughs> the real ODP. Uh, fair warning. When my hair grows gray, I'm uh, growing it out uh, into a Kelsey Grammer. Kelsey Grammer? Yeah. Remember a particular look that I'm missing? Look at the, the, the ball, the ball down top, but you're slicked. everything you have is slicked back. Shirley Hemsley? 
Well, I don't, I don't have curly hair. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm your host, Eminence Table 713. We have what are your feelings on tossed salad and scrambled eggs? eggs. <laughs> they don't. Why would you eat those two things together? Why would you not? Well, scrambled eggs are for breakfast and tossed salads as a side with your. Uh, you can put eggs on salad. Lunch. They eat salad. And they eat salad and salad fixings and, and breakfast in Europe all the goddamn time. Yeah, but he. Fraser is Fraser is Fraser is American. I'm saying tossed salad, scrambled eggs. Uh, seem perfectly crumbly. Yeah, you, you, I put, you, you put hard That's boiled it. eggs in the salad. Yeah, that motherfucker was weird. I put scrambled eggs in there all the time when we would go to the old uh, cafeteria place. Yeah, it was on the buffet. The salad buffet. Plus, Kelsey Graham was fucking a 17-year-old when he was too damn old to be fucking a 17-year-old. I mean, so was Seinfeld. So, I mean, I'm saying... I'm well, I hold about. it against him, too. What's the deal? What's the deal with Leon <laughs> on, he was, he was picking up his girl from high school, son, in the fucking whip. Seinfeld was on some... Was this during the Seinfeld days? I have no idea what you're talking it about. Was, it was during the Seinfeld days. That, it was like they were knee-deep in Seinfeld days. Yeah. But, like, I mean... What's the deal with the age of consent? <laughs> it, it was always... Like, I know we probably covered this in high school before, but it was always some girls, like, with some old-ass dudes. And you're like, you can't... I, I just remember... I remember this girl. Her name was... You can ble- uh, bleep this out. Oh, you put the whole name on that. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I remember I had a crush on her, like, the first day of 10th grade. And I was just like, man... And then, like, my cousin was a cheerleader, and so was she. And this dude comes to school and picks her up. And I'm like, what the fuck? This dude look like he's like 40, 32. <laughs> and I was just like, that's just what's hot in the shit. I was like, I can't compete with that. Like, is, uh, I don't have a 4 one k one of your one of your movies that you like, Pineapple Express. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, I bumped into one of my buddies uh, the other day at the outlet mall, mm-hmm. and uh, I had he was like one of my good friends. Like he's the one that like I used to roll around with in college and shit. That uh, I've told the story about where I wrote the paper in the car, and he was like, he was driving. I got a better grade than he did. And all that. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I ain't seen him in a couple years, but he like he he's the type that still sends like Christmas cards and shit. Mm-hmm. So like we were talking, and uh, we were talking about you know like the school days and stuff, and I was like saying how like. We had the, the the one kid that we knew that OD'd uh, like two months ago, and but I like I started talking about I'm like man I'm like some of the girls that like, are women now that were like we had class with I'm like some of them like got real fucking hot I'm like I didn't see that shit coming and, <laughs> <laughs> like I see them now like on Instagram and Facebook and shit and I'm like man I should have been nicer to you when we were kids the glow up is real <laughs> yeah uh... I remember the one girl. Um, that like sat by me and him in the back of uh, our eighth grade class. Like we were in there, like because they used to move us around all the time. Uh-huh. But there was a while there where like the three of us were kind of like in the back right corner, and she had apparently gone to like a slumber party with some of the other girls like that like previous weekend, and they were all like teasing her because she had like she was like the the head member of the itty bitty titty committee. I love little boobs and. Uh, <laughs> He had made up a rhyme that was like something something. My back is as flat as Jenny's rack or something like that. Yeah, and I, I mean at the time it was funny. Now that I'm in my thirties, I feel real bad that like I laughed at that, even though it was funny. But then like I saw her on uh, Facebook and Instagram like mm-hmm. a year or two ago, and she clearly has some work done on that region. Oh, okay. And how uh, was all the shaming? That, that could be it. Um, it's one of those things where, in hindsight, I did some things as a kid that I wish I hadn't Yeah, done. but that was an eighth grade, though. I know. And but I'm like, saying, like, she could have she could have grew some. I know. She could have. I'm, I I don't know what happened, necessarily, because I ain't seen her since eighth grade. Uh-huh. Or, sorry, I haven't seen her since ninth grade. But, uh, in what I saw, it was like, it looked like someone who either went through a tremendous growth spurt uh-huh. or has some work done. Tremendous. And when I was talking to him about this... He was talking about how, like, he had heard uh, from people that, like, the girl, actually, those the women who had, were at that slumber party, uh-huh. uh, that she had gotten a boob job and became a stripper at one point. Oh. I was like, but, like, in some of her pictures, it looked like she was, like, a nurse or something. Most of them become nurses. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. You go, you go to the strip club to get the money to go to nursing school to become the RN. Mm-hmm. I mean, <clears throat> uh, I mean, you pay for, you know, you got to pay your way some way. 
I feel like um, I remember what it was, it was just so unnecessary. It was like, yep, yep. pay your way some. <laughs> that was totally necessary. That was I a very good. like gas grass or ass type of song. Nobody rides for free. <laughs> um, I remember it was this girl named Denise, and I don't know if I was just like not paying attention to her boobs before, but it was just like one day in English class. I'm like, God damn, where did those come from? <laughs> they I just came. I that's remember. why. That's why I love watching Big Mouth has. Just, Big Mouth is so real. Oh God! <laughs> I uh, I remember it. like telling you guys on the show before how when I went to the new, the, the second high school when I when I moved out to uh, Parma mm-hmm. that there was the one girl who came up to me in the cafeteria and like I had that feeling like she was on the prowl and all that. Mm-hmm. So I actually looked her up on Facebook like two weeks ago, and she definitely married a dude that like. Not as handsome as me, I would say, even though, like, I don't think I'm really that handsome. But, like, definitely, definitely in, in the same vein as me. Yeah, I, I tell you, <laughs> I, 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 I know is that, is that for the, certain two women who you kind of know, sir, and they both get boyfriends or husbands to look just like you. I know of the one, uh, AG. I don't remember. Yes, yes, you know, sir. <laughs> and she went and got a. Uh, the, the fucking great value version of your head. The presidential choice version of your yes. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, I, what was I supposed to do there? You know, like, she, she smoked was, her thing. She, and she was she married was and shit at the time. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. But, but like, at I the time, you, and at, but she, the dude literally is like, yeah, like the, um, the cool, the sour cream, <laughs> the sour cream, um, so, 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 Sonic so, sour, sour cream, so, so, Sonic sour cream, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic sour cream, Dan is definitely your fucking show time. All right, I have to try for the alternate. But I'll be the um, also ran. Oh, I think um, if I'm not mistaken, somebody did say it like her husband looks uh, looks like you too. But I know for a fact that first person, like, definitely Sonic Sour Cream Dan. Like, dude, dude was just a little he, bit He was shorter. like a ginger version of me. Yeah. yeah. Definitely a little redder. <coughs> definitely less green and blue specks in there. But, <laughs> but, but, but like, the dude looks so much like you. Like, uh, I'm, I don't know, in another life you guys were brothers or something like that. Down well, there. I mean, all right. A couple things. At the time, I was in my, like, mid-20s. Like, barely had just gotten in my mid-20s. I didn't know shit about shit. Two, at that time, I was, like, mega fucking heartbroken. Because, like, when I met you guys, you know what happened. Like, I told everybody on this show what happened. Mm-hmm. So, like, I was in the thick of all that. Three, uh, that lady smoked. I which I wasn't really into, even though I didn't really smell it on her. And I think she was, uh, she was doing crystal meth or something. Because she, um... <laughs> Yeah. Lost a bunch of weight? No, she had... No, that shit in her eyes. Oh. That shaky eyes, like... Well, uh, like, yeah, that... Like, she she was kind of, like, jittery. But then also, like, she was married, I thought, at the time. And I'm, I I wasn't about to go through all that. I mean... That, I also don't know how old that lady is. I don't know. She, like, she was friends with your friend who, like, was, like, a married mom with multiple kids. She went to school with Michelle. They went to South together. Yeah, Michelle's like like six, seven years older than me. What? <laughs> Your no sir game is ridiculous. <laughs> we gotta get we gotta get you dialed in to like this. Is what I fuck with and nothing no. more. <laughs> but like we're talking about shit that happened I, yeah, eight, I'm eight years, years ago. Because I'm five years older than you, and yeah, yeah, she's older. Yeah, I mean at that time I would have been but like wh- twenty five. No, I would have been. Like twenty six, twenty seven. The cougar rank on age, and she would have been like, like, like no, nah, she like isn't Michelle Man, like forty between eighteen and thirty is good mm. cougar rank oh, She's I'm, like a year younger than that. Oh okay, yeah, so so okay, so yeah, yeah. so she would have been like four years. Also, old. I don't okay. think it was in the same. Because I thought she knew Lori. One, one of them could have been a senior. One of them could have been a freshman. I don't know any time. Yeah, I, 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 don't I know thought all she was that. friends with Lori. I mean, get yeah, work. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, I thought I, they knew I, each I, other. I thought they lived in the same company. Well, I like, do all this semantic stuff. Let's move on to show. Hey, I know. I'm hey, just Google. I'm just saying, Google like, <laughs> who was number two? 
Um, like I said, what was that? Oh, uh, the lady was just talking about the other day. It was like, am I pretty dead? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, I, I don't regret saying no. Yeah, no. I, I'm sorry. I know T disagreed with me, but that just, to me, is the weirdest pickup line ever to me. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Cool. Well, okay, you, you, we can bounce this off you. Hey, Gabe, if me and you are talking online or hold get on, instant hold message. On, hold on, hold on. I always like to point out that this man once dated a woman but didn't know he was dating her. Go from there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't, but I, y'all keep on trying to say it. I don't think that shit was his fault, though. Because that one lady, like, you had me walk her to, like, I, it was funny. So, uh, to another side, T had me walk the same lady to her car in a non dangerous neighborhood. And that was only like, what, it was like, 15 feet from where we were? Every, was like, every time I see these memes where it's like, I could have, I, I'd be with with this girl, we could have passionate love, I could look her in the eyes and just slow fuck her and then when we're done, I hold her together and tell her how much I love her, but that does not mean we are together. <laughs> Women be crazy, man. <laughs> I totally agree with that. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, it was um, a dangerous neighborhood, but... Uh, it wasn't a deal. It was Lakewood and she lived next to a school. He was trying to protect her from emotional damage, which... I'm not nobody no more to, to hold nobody emotionally together. This was I, I was maybe 22 at because the time. She, because she knew kung fu, so she doesn't. Uh, she should have been. She should have walked out to the car. Herself. So, like kung I said, fu can't protect you from emotional damage. What's the point of knowing kung fu There's if you don't use it? It's a wasted skill. So anyway, that's what I'm saying. Like I walked that lady to her car for no reason. I don't know if she was trying to hook me up with her or what. Uh, probably not. <laughs> but the thing is, did me and her go on a date? I walked into her car. Isn't it that's, weird? That's the weird date scene. Isn't it weird when, like, yeah. when people you know yeah. try and hook you up with someone they know, uh, but they don't tell you? They just kind of push you together like some sort of like I, arranged play date or some shit? I, I remember when Michelle tried to do that with that <laughs> lady at the casino. Oh, uh, I... I, really? I, man, y'all living a lot of fucking nights. We go here to have this fucking episode. I keep the swords popping, people. <laughs> All right. I, you don't remember that? I think yeah. you were the one with me. Yeah, and to, to be honest, that was weird because, like, one of the people who used to be on this show, like, what, like, Yo, yeah, squeezed yeah. their boobs in the elevator or something? I don't know. Uh, like, made out with her at least from what I was told by that person. Damn! You didn't know that? <laughs> no! Yeah, there has been too many crossover episodes with me and that dude. <laughs> yeah, I just that's to be Eskimo cousins, twins, brothers. What is the turn of phrase? It's brothers, brothers. Yeah, being Eskimo brothers is only cool when you cool with that person. Yeah, fuck that dude. <laughs> okay, so but <laughs> back to it. So Wait. if if you're like somebody instant messaging you and like. I mean, I, I guess women can't cannot have game too. I suppose, but like, am I? Pr- do you think I'm pretty? Do you think that's like? See, look at his face. Why can't this be a video podcast? It feels like a trap, right? Yeah, it feels, it feels like weird. You think I'm that's not. A, that's not. A I good feel like I diplomatically handled the situation as best that's I could. That's good. <laughs> because that's such a weird opener that no matter what you say, it's kind of like, what? Like, you're either getting married or you're hurting someone's feelings. Yeah, and not only that, like, that's a, like, <coughs> regardless if I think you feel pretty or not, that's just a weird opener to be like. Plus, there's plenty of people that I think are pretty that I'm not attracted like, yeah. to. Also, like, it's such a weird question. You expect it to be asked, like, like um, coming out of the mouth of a, of a woman, like, coming out in a... A disheveled dress and makeup smeared all over her face. Do you think I'm pretty? Yeah. And she's about to kill you? Oh my gosh. That seems like some. Like, usually people who uh, who ask me, do you think I'm pretty, are wearing a, a, a white bonnet and a long white dress. Or, um, like somebody, like, like a 1930s, like, slow dancing and, you know, dan that spit shine the shoes you- and. He's like, yes, I feel like shit's in like black and white and yeah. a little slow. Here's the yes, beat. Yeah, I'll just you beat me to it. <laughs> I got like that like Irish taxi driver cap on and shit. Yeah, she's pretty in her pretty damn ever seen. White button up shirt suspenders. Yeah. Uh, you're a real hot taxi. <laughs> <laughs> you better believe you're pretty, I'll pop you one. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, doll face. 
Like, yeah, it's super weird. I, I don't know. I don't know if, like, I just, um... I don't think I grew up in a different town than everybody else, or... But you guys do make me feel weird about um, the way I've... Women have been in my life. Like, but, yeah, I don't... Like, because you got laid all the time? I haven't get laid all the time. <laughs> I, Gay's probably been laid more than me in his, in his life. That's yeah. just one lady. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> he be not gonna push me out. All the time. Pregnant, not pregnant, yeah. it don't matter. It don't matter. <laughs> he win. <laughs> Gabe is the winner. <laughs> <laughs> like technically, like I've never won anything before. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like you've literally taken us to locations where you've had coitus. When? In the, in the fucking arcade. I know I did it. Have sex there? A girl somewhere her butt. I thought you got something in the bathroom. Wait. No. Now, I gotta tell that story again. This? Okay. Oh, you told the story, Michelle. You don't gotta tell it again. But oh, is that the. Uh, I, 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 is, fuck it. I, as, I, as I recall the story, and you can guide me through this, mm-hmm. y'all slid in there, but then someone else came in the bathroom and got ruined. Yeah, so, yeah. I go okay, into, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I, yeah, I, I fucked right. up that detail. I'm sorry. I could have. If, I, if the situation hadn't been so hilarious, <laughs> I go like, to the bathroom, and this is like in the, the late, early 2000s when thongs were still the rage. I was like, what? 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 And uh, the girl showed me, she's that like, I good, look, yeah, I'm wearing a thong, and she told me to come into the bathroom. The come then, hither finger, yeah. Yeah, she gave me the hither finger, and I come in there, and then another lady walks in there. <laughs> and not only, not, like, this is the most butch lady I've ever seen in my life at this point. I was about to say, like, what was the down the, the downfall of thongs? But then I thought about it, and I'm like, I really enjoy the Calvin Klein underwears. What, so the thongs? Not just just the ones that have like the the the, the high white waistband and shit. I, I don't think thongs I mean, have fallen. They haven't fallen, but they don't have that same oomph that they had back in like two thousand two. I, I just kind of when like every, all the women had like the low cut yeah. pants and the thongs hanging off the we, tops. We used to work in wheel tails. Uh, uh, back in the place that we used to work at together. <laughs> <laughs> For the uh, record, like right around right around now, me and Gabe and Ryan for like sixteen years. Yeah, the homie. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, there was a girl who always showed her thong in, the, in, the, in our little department. Hmm. Well, not always like she's showing it off, but she the way she would wear her uh, her thong versus her pants. Hmm. Not versus her pants. Was she Lita? Y'all worked with Lita? Pants. What? I said y'all worked with was Lita? Was this like a, an exposed situation? With WWE or like a Lita? Lita? You're yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, pretty much. Okay, that's what I was and asking. And she was a WWE fan. Maybe that was the reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were all kind of doing that shit back then. Lita really popularized it, but, like, yeah, th- that was uh, the hot shit back then. I just remember, like... Me? Look, if we just, uh, am if I we, exaggerating the no, amount no, of no. thongs she was if showing? We take, if we take this shit back, let's say, 16 years, we was just a sexual harassment lawsuit away from it all going down in that particular, in that in that department and office. It was always... Some, some stuff going down yeah. in that vein. Oh, well, well, hey, I remember um, it was the, the first year I was there, which was two. Th- this was the the Christmas of two thousand and two. I think when the lady bar bought me for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we, we've talked. We have talked about that on the show. A, a pair of um, silk, silk boxes. Yeah, <clears throat> and I was just like, no, I don't even. And I didn't want them, and some other dude took them. <laughs> What the fuck kind of office I, is I, this? I brought the Vita Guerrero uh, Playboy into work. Yeah, we discussed it over, and, and I'm well, pretty we sure like, that Playboy. We never discussed the like the fact that it brought it into work to, sh- the, to show the gentleman folk. Not like you were the only one that brought it. My head. You weren't the only one that brought that in that day. I think I bought it. <laughs> no, I remember I how excited I, I was when I found yeah, out that too. existed. Vita yeah. Guerrero was one of my guilty yeah. pleasures in the early 2000s. Yeah. Yeah, I think we like we all looked at it, but I don't think we were just like, "Hey, guess what, guys? I'm taking my dick out. How about you?" It was just like we looked at it. Like that was she was probably one of the best things to ever come from like a quasi star search type of thing. Because wasn't the the background story like her ex boyfriend submitted her picture to like FHM's search or some shit? um, It was called goodbye because she was she was moving on from him. It was called um, hometown honeys or something like that. And I remember she was in that, and then they had another. Because I used to get it, um, get the magazine. I just loved magazines back then. Yeah. 
<clears throat> um, and that was one of the ones I gave. It was like FHM. Well, that and like the internet was really in its infancy at that point. Like as far as like <clears throat> nudes and internet porn and like pictorials and that kind of shit. Like the major publications had websites, mm -hmm. but they were still relying heavily on magazine sales. Yeah, but yeah, and at the same time. As we as loosey goosey as T had made a sound, we still didn't go on the internet and look that shit up because we do work for a Fortune 500 company. So yeah. uh, we still didn't do that. We were. But, I said that to someone the other day. I'm like, I'm like, I can't believe that sometimes I work for a Fortune 500 company because some of the people I work with, like, I don't know how they're there. So. We're we're very loose with the language though back then, and then yeah. Now that you think, now that you mention it, <clears throat> bro, I. We, we, we were talking before we got on mic. Daniel Daniel uh, had had, had miss said a curse word that all, that got him called into on the carpet. You got in trouble again? This was last week. And uh, I'm I not, tell you about it. I, you told me that they I said you was cussing. In fact, of course, I mean, you in trouble. like the the motherfucker thing. No, you didn't tell me about the motherfucker thing. Well, wait, I, I, we'll, 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 we'll I'll rehash that. Yeah, we'll take that off, Mike. But uh, but yeah, we used to. Bro, I'm just I'm saying I, I work I work with some women who I don't know, man. <laughs> this is wild. Man, my la my last job, I told you the my manager used to work for strip clubs. He used to openly talk about strip clubs in front of everybody. Yeah, and uh, like he would talk about how they were, like I know so much insight to the strip club game because of that, and that was on the clock in front of like everybody. If I like, he be, didn't hide that. Yeah, if I want to be super crude, I mean, I, I, a uh, uh, girl pretty much uh, told us that, she, uh, that yes, she's been fucked in the ass. Oh well, <laughs> I didn't want to leave it ambiguous for the. Um, and I didn't want to this leave is it not ambiguous, an ambiguous for, the, show. for the listeners. I mean, I guess at some point, isn't that on her to like decide if she wants to share that though? That is a good point. I uh, guess I, I don't mean, know. if you don't ask. It's 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 more. Why are you saying it's being that? Discussed at work? It's being discussed out loud, and that would that would definitely yeah. But to be, be fair, frowned upon. Where you guys worked at, not not to give it any kind of you know, um, just because this where y'all worked at, it was a private area to itself. Yeah, and it Every, had doors. And everything we could just lock that hole out. Yeah, it was pretty much like you guys like when you party. Yeah, when you work at like like when you work out in uh, in cubicles and stuff like that. <clears throat> You talk and share a little bit, but when you're like in a room together, like closed off from everybody else, where you feel like you could be yourself and be freer, yeah, you probably share more. <clears throat> like when, um, yeah, I feel like uh, when we, we used to have much more fun when we went to to that area. Yeah. We'll come upstairs, it's like, hey, we go fuck around and talk for a little bit, or or listen to some kind of like you can listen to music. Now, before that, you did that nowhere else in the building. Um, it was just like, other than like one, oh, I think they added the older dude to that mix because of it was so fun and relaxed back then. <laughs> yeah, he kind of. I don't instill work ethic into the youngsters. <laughs> Man, he taught him about everything to do. It's just, he, he was kind of a, the wholesomeness of the man. Uh, made us less inclined to Wait, talk about ass Wait, is the old man I knew? Yeah, you know. Okay. Man, he was there that long? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember. I didn't know much about him, but one time we were talking about a movie, and we talked about Seven, and T spoiled a part of it. I'm like, don't don't spoil it. Like, uh, uh, what's his name? What I don't want to say his I know. I remember his name, but I don't want to say it. Uh, you don't work there person. no more? The Don. Do you... yeah. All right. I said, The Don, I have not seen that yet. He's like, oh, you're like, oh, well. My man Don's never watched a movie like that. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, what kind of movies do you watch? So I'm like, oh, I like Homeward Bound, and then uh, I'm like, oh, he's <laughs> it's, it's just wholesome. Yeah, he's just, just wholesome. wholesome. Someday I'm gonna get an email. They're gonna tell me that man died, and I'm gonna be so fucking sad. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. But oh, Homeward Bound. So uh, let's not talk. Yeah, about Yeah, like. <laughs> Just hold on, we going home. <laughs> yeah, I never like they they like they make those record. movies every year, like with a dog, like a dog's journey and all that other stuff. Bruh, a dog's. Perfect. I'm telling you right now, like, like, exactly. Marley and me. You, you watch some of this Disney Plus shit, and you see how they just treating animals back in the day, and you gonna be like, that is literally a bear fighting a cat. That is not them <laughs> pretending. They literally threw that cat out there with that bear and said, "Just film that." What movie is you that? Keep, you keep rolling. Of uh, the original Homer Brown. 
Oh shit! That cat gets to a fight with a bear. I'm sorry, already. Sass they, don't fuck around. They probably ran through a couple of cats on that on that shoot. Oh I'm, man, I'm pretty sure they. Uh, uh, you can't CGI that cat blood. <laughs> Milo and Otis. Milo and Otis is pretty much just like uh, the walking around filming the cat and the dog, and they just improv the. Uh, a plot the somehow in yeah. the dialogue. Yeah, I would love to have like a black version of that. <laughs> like, um, I guess we could do it. Just like take Milo. It's like, oh man, you ain't shit. I don't know. Oh Milo, you bitch ass. You gonna leave me for a woman? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. My, that was the that actually that happened in the movie. I don't. I, I may, like it, it's fun that I could probably like just ask my mother about it and be like, <laughs> yeah, why would you see more Disney movies? Why you ain't take me to see that kind of stuff? Because we didn't. Like, my uncle used to take me to go see, like, uh, when Ninja Turtles came out, when He-Man came out. <clears throat> but other than that, like, like I remember being mad as fuck at my mother, like, hey, how come I couldn't watch She's Got to Have It? Well, you <laughs> Like, I remember that clearly. <laughs> like, I remember uh, we watched some bullshit, and then, like, y'all got to go upstairs and go to your room. We about to watch She's Got to Have It. Like, that's some bullshit, man. <laughs> now that I'm older, I'm like, oh, yeah, I shouldn't be oh, shit. I had the opposite treatment. I had, like, my grandmother would be like, eh, you'll see it at some point anyway. Uh-huh. Like, if someone was having, like, there was, like, a sex scene or something. Relations. And then, like, if I was at my dad's, i get the cover your eyes, we'll tell you when the scene's over. Yeah. I mean, my... S- but they didn't really do a lot of check-in to see if I was peeking. Man, I got so, like, pumped when it was, like, uh, when they start doing our HBO, like, this movie has... Adult language, nudity, <laughs> full frontal nudity. Yeah, because it's like, it's, it's the way they worded they were, you was like, you get oh, so excited. Oh, this yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, this is about to be tits. I'm about to see a dick. Oh, yeah, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and you see some dude's ass, you're like, that, is that's that what, brief nudity. Is that that's brief nudity. nudity. They've, they've, I don't know. They've well, stepped it up, though. I've seen, like, I don't have those channels, like, right now, but in my travels, I have seen that kind of stuff, and they definitely go, like, you see Hog now. No, you see a lot of dick in movies. But, um... Like, it's, I not just, it's not just a Game of Thrones. Hog is such a good description of a dick, man. Like, um, I remember, um... Because we were... My um, mother worked, so we were at home a lot during the summer. And Doc Hollywood came on a lot. When she came out of the lake? Yeah, naked as hell! Yeah. That, I remember that should be out at like 8 o'clock in the morning. Yes! <laughs> What's wild about that? That's a PG-13 movie. Yeah! yeah. And them titties is on that screen for a minute. Long enough, Yeah. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it was like summer vacation when I was a kid. I was staying up like all night and yeah. then sleeping all day. And I remember I was watching that movie like before my grandmother went to work. She'd be like, what you watching? Hey, I'm like, oh, it was a movie about a doctor. They moved to the country, yeah. and, and it got the best full frontal nudity in a PG-13 yeah. movie of all time. I remember watching the movie, and I didn't even know there was nudity in like, it. I want to be a doctor. And then, like, I saw them, like, her come out with like the leg with the titties out there. I was like, what the fuck? This is 8 o'clock in the morning. Like, as a kid, I was like, this is on right now? Because I understood how it worked. Like, the only thing I had seen on cable television during the daylight that had nudity in it to that point was that Columbus movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, 1492 really did something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It ain't the same, though. Like, I remember... And, and now, like, I'm just like, that's kind of rapey. But back then, I was yeah. like, Man, they having sex. Mm-hmm. She don't seem happy about it, but they have sex. <laughs> oh, man. No. Anger bits. <laughs> no. I guess it must be a language barrier thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gabriel. Yes. What the fuck you been up to, little homie? I mean, last, 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 this last outing, oh, Gabriel man. peacefully slept on his couch right next to me. It was show art one week. He was out like a light. <laughs> My wife wasn't happy. He's like, you slept with the whole thing? Like, not the whole thing. I was there for the Oreos. <laughs> um, well, first of all, I gotta correct something. I said Kelsey Grammer, but I looked it up, and I should have said the Jack Nicholson. Ah, that makes that. That's I don't mean. know how'd you do that, but that makes more sense. Yes, yes. You take the little wispy parts on the top of your head and and grow them out and slick them back. Um, like a, like a hair plugs kind uh, of thing. Well, does Jack Nicholson have hair plugs? If he did, why did he just go? I don't out? know. Like, how do you tell without like if you're if they're on TV? Can you really tell? Because like Joe Buck has hair plugs, but like Joe Buck, the, Joe the, announce, the sports announcer. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. he does like the World Series and like the he did the Browns game last night and shit like that. Sure, okay. okay, but he like he like on a podcast I listened to a couple weeks ago said that he has hair plugs. 
But it's like looking at him on TV, like he looks old. But like I don't know, I can't tell if he has hair plugs, you know. No, I mean, but I don't know of anyone I've ever met personally to where I can look at them and see if they have hair plugs, you know. Well, I'm just thinking if it all goes gray or white or whatever, I just say fuck it, stop shaving my head and just grow it out. Oh, like an, uh, um, I probably more look more like uh, Ed O'Neill from. Uh, I would say like uh, uh, modern uh, Chevy <clears throat> Chase from Community. Oh yeah, that's a good. That's a good. That's that's a good analogy. Okay, not analogy. Um, description. That's an apt description. There we go. Uh, what's been going on with me? I've been t- teasing this vacation story for the longest ass time, and uh, God, I don't even know if I can remember it all properly. So, <laughs> so here we go. Um, we went on vacation, uh, did the Airbnb thing, and rented a house mm-hmm. on this farm. Uh, is owned by these people from Texas. Now, and now, where were you vacationing at? Uh, it was just like it's, let's call it a couple hours from here, like. Okay, so it was Ohio. locally. Like I didn't know if you like, yeah. went to Puerto Rico or. If you oh like, no, North it was Carolina. still in Ohio. It was just okay. nice to get away and relax. Do so some it day was drinking. like a sort of a staycation kind of deal. Yeah, kind of a staycation kind of deal, and we stayed in someone else's house, and they were on a farm and everything, and we just uh, and this this were people who recycled everything. You like. They had a very small thing for waste, and you like you threw your coffee grounds and the compost. You threw your food waste in here, and also they had compostable toilets. Mm. Grossest fucking thing <clears throat> in the in the world. Yeah, that's the only thing that's stopping me from living off the grid. Like no bills, but I gotta deal with my own shit. Don't just don't match. Yeah, it's 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 gross. I wouldn't recommend compostable toilets. <laughs> I liked everything about the place except the toilets. Uh, I, I I'm. I'm I hate to say this, but I wondered, uh, where do you put your stuff after you jerk off? Oh. And, I I, I mean, if you were there, you would have thought the same thing. I probably would have thought the same thing, but then, like, I'd be like, uh, I'm going to keep my nut in me today. (laughs) (laughs) Just go through. I'm not going to blow up. No, you just go during November. (laughs) Like, where where did the water go when you showered? Did that did that water recycle? Like, yeah, that, the water. Oh recycled. no, this is sticky water. Did oh you, no, 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 like a, no, it was, like a water it was well water. Kind of thing? Yeah. It was well water, so the water was so, clean. And did, as well water can so be. So, are you telling me like you got satisfied pumping the uh, pumping the pump? Like, I don't have to masturbate today. <laughs> Well, I just, I was a curiosity. It's not like, I, oh, I gotta, I, uh, I gotta masturbate. Like, no, he was out there milking the cow, and it was just like, mm. <laughs> They did have a cow. Did you milk it? No. Well, I'm not, did you that's tip not, it? That's not vacationing. That's doing someone's work for them. Did you tip it? Uh, no. Has anybody tipped a cow before? We did. Uh, I'm sure it's been done. I mean, they had it. Oh, in this room? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I've, I've not. You pointed to me and... <laughs> is that like uh, I've never shipped some, some uh, black but she's not do? paying attention so <laughs> is this I just thought it was racial like black people don't uh, tip cows over I mean yeah that too <laughs> fun fact <laughs> black guys who don't tip <laughs> <Cows>. <laughs> yeah I, like I spent, a, I spent a lot of time in Arkansas but I still never tipped a cow like, I did feed a, um, a cow, I mean, some pigs, some frogs. But other yeah, you did tell that story. You, you um, said how pigs eat anything, and that's... They, they ate it. Pigs, uh, I, um, uh, I'm, I'm sure pigs do eat anything. Will they eat bacon? I don't know. Yes. I remember a, st- a friend of mine in high school told a story about feeding a pig bacon... And then the pig squealing and what sound like to him sounded like agony that he did that, 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 like the pig had just done that. No, that was my mama. No, <laughs> that'll do, pig. Oh my god. Um. Uh, and we took a tour of, of, of the farm. It was it was nice living and uh, did some day drinking and. Uh, only till Buzz. I listen. I, I heard the guy's voice in my head saying, oh, dude, "Stop! Stop when you <laughs> stop at Buzz. Stop at Buzz. The kids are still awake." <clears throat> so, bitch. What? She made hot pockets. We've been talking about it for so long. Well, <laughs> yeah, she um, she she made um, I know this is like she made Mentos the other day. I ain't understand that at all. <clears throat> what the hell are y'all talking about? So we watch Bon Appetit. Claire Savitz is a uh, she, she like she has a show that she like she takes any junk food you like and she makes a gourmet version of it. 
that me and Ant-Man talking about. I think I might follow her on Instagram. I love her so much. And me and Ant was talking about she should do hot pockets. But I was talking about it. Ant was, you know what I'm saying, whatever. But yeah, she I was saying. But, um, she, but she finally did hot pockets. Hot pockets, and um, I wanted to do combos. Yeah, combos is what he wants to make. I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm pretty caught up on her. Yeah, uh, so. That's her. Okay. So we're taking a tour of the farm, and she's introducing us to all the animals. We get to the sheep, uh, and one of the sheep, one of the sheep is black. Ba ba. And, and the kids point out, oh, one of the, oh, there's a sheep. It's, it's black. And they're like, yeah, that's Remus. I'm like, you motherfuckers, Remus. Yeah. Oh, I know I should have trusted you people from Texas. And like, yeah, if you. you yeah, it was it was part it was one half of a twin. Like, oh, and they're like, uh, yeah, the other one was Romulus. Okay, I'm like, all right. Oh, okay, the the the, the Roman. Remus and Romulus. All yeah. right, all right. Still were, a little nervous. Were you looking for racism here? <laughs> I wasn't, but like, I I. You were no no one and no one acknowledged me, but when they said. They uh, when they uh, did say yeah the sheep's name Remus I went. <gasps> No one looked at me or anything, but it was loud enough. I know they all heard me, and maybe that's why she felt the need to say, "Oh yeah, I was a twin," and it was Romulus. I'm like, ah, I said that out loud too. Again, no one acknowledged me, but uh, uh, why did I think this story was more interesting? I don't know. I guess I got nothing else. Compostable toilets, and uh, I thought they were being racist with the sheep. So. <clears throat> Do you have how any l- questions about the farm? Then we can yeah, walk, how, walk yeah, how, I got how, nothing. How long were you there? Oh, it was just like four days. What made you choose farm as your vacation situation? My wife really wants to live on a farm. I mean, that's probably why they've had chickens and shit. Yeah. Uh, but do you want to live on a farm? I don't know. I, I suppose. I, just Is want, it something I don't want to do all the work. I might. Oh, no, I can't even say that. Um, are you, you, you going to live on a farm? I don't know, can I do what I do and live on a farm at the same time? I suppose, but, like, again, I ain't doing all the fucking work. I, 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 enough, I feed all the damn animals in the house. Yeah, I that, don't feed the guinea pigs. I'll, 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 I'll give it up to my wife and my daughter. They've taken care of the pig, guinea pigs. They've kept me out of it for the most part. Yeah, oh, I, not, I, I oh. want a dog so bad. Like, every time I see a dog and people walking the dog, I'm like, I want a dog so bad. But I know... If I get a dog, I'm going to be the only person that's taking care of that dog on top of all the stuff or other stuff I do. So I tell them no all the time, even though in my heart of hearts, I want a dog. Do you think you get a one when you're old enough, or the kids are old enough to mm-hmm. kick in? No. Nope. I'm never going to get a dog because I'm that's going to be shame. the only that one. sad. Well, should it make you... No, I'm living the best life I possibly can oh, live. Okay. Like... I, I do most. No, I think it's sad. What he means is that you want one and you know you want one, but you know that your situation means that it won't happen for you. No, I can make it happen. I can probably be like, oh, you know what? I only sleep four hours now. I'm going to sleep three and a half now. No, I'm good. I know well enough. I've had a dog. He was a good dog. Maybe. Was uh, his name Remus? <laughs> <laughs> his name was He Man. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, I just, I just know, I just know, I'll, I'll have a better quality of life without the dog. And if you feel like you'll have a better quality of life without a farm, no farm. Three years later, this nigga on the farm. <laughs> you know what? But at the same time, three years later, you'll have a so, four-year-old. You'll have uh, what? Uh, uh, a a six-year-old. Four-year-old, uh... Uh, three three years later, Shane. Yes. A seven year old, oh, yeah. a ten year old, and an eleven. Yeah, eleven going on twelve. None of them make it, none of them making your farm life any easier on you, and you still doing a bunch of farm work. But then back in the day, like you were five years old and you were uh, doing all the you're told but you to grew up on everything. a farm. You didn't grow up in modern technology with inconveniences and shit. You didn't go from like the lap of luxury to roughing it. That's true. I am still opening cuties for these kids. <laughs> <laughs> you want to trust the milk a cow? 
Man, I was watching. Um, I don't know if we said that on this show or the last show. I mean, it, that was the it, last show. We were universe building before there was the MCU. So yeah, people know that generic cuties don't peel well. You should know that. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, like I said, I would really like to have a dog, but I, like I, I like um, being able to have peace. I need to. Um, I got some child rearing to do, and in between then. Emery oh. would not stop pushing people. Did, what What did you do? Uh, did any of your kids have a pushing problem and a hitting problem? Uh, they still do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're going to do that once in a while. Seems they're gonna like y'all need to get, get together and think tank this yeah, one out. Like, uh, <laughs> I was picking um, the, I, the kids up from daycare the day before yesterday. And I get there and like the lady had put like little bags of snacks out. and It was a big bag of snacks for her child. And Emery grabbed that shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then was told he couldn't have it because it was somebody else. And he threw that shit under the chair. <laughs> he said, fuck that. And he pushed at his brother. And he pushed another kid. <laughs> then he pushed the other kid again. It was like, I want the almonds and chocolate chips. And then I was like, no, Emery, you can't have it. And she was like, you got to take a time out, Emery. No time out. And he didn't take a time out. He didn't? I, no, we had to go anyway. I was like, you can give him four minutes tomorrow. And the lady was like, no, we only give two minutes. He can't have four. He's not four years old. And I was like, whatever, He's a minute per... He's a minute per age. <clears throat> I mean, per year. And I was just like, and I grabbed him. And he was like, duck, duck, goose. I'm like, you play that shit. We're not playing duck, duck, goose. <laughs> you just wanted to hit me on top of my head. We're not, we gonna leave. And, um... Yeah, pretty soon. Like he can't get away with that shit no more. He's two. He'll be. He won't be three until June. But you can't keep on getting away with that shit, man. It's time for you to start getting some real hard timeouts. Yeah. And like they say, you don't put him in his back in the crib because you don't want him to be associated with fr- punishment. Yeah, associated yeah. with punishment. Or uh, my mother's like, put him in a high chair. You don't want to separate eating and stuff that together. So. You have to find a good timeout place for him. Stick to the time. Stick to saying no. <clears throat> and Sounds like you need like a solitary box. <laughs> um, a box would probably be pretty dope. Like, a get your ass like, in that box. Yeah. A hot box like a, a ni- early 1900s prison? Yeah, that no, kind no, of deal. I just get like a... Uh, got like a couple vent holes in it and shit. Um, like we uh, recently had to get um, another... Um, shit. Car seat. Let's stick your ass in that car seat box for uh, for two minutes. I usually go. I usually go with the stairs. I make the stairs like Harry oh. Potter. Not under the stairs. <laughs> they don't live there. They just have to sit on the stairs for an amount of time. It's 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 not so much about punishment. It's just separating from the situation that they were fucking up in. Like if you're hitting your you're hitting your brother in the living room, well, get out of the living room. Go take a time out somewhere. Yeah, like it's it's funny. Like um, these past. Like, uh, I'm, I'm just going to say a couple of weeks. Like, my older son has, like, got this thing in his mind. He's tougher now because he's like, now, fuck that, Emory. You ain't going to be pushing me around. And they start wrestling on the floor together now. And, and, and every once in a while, Emory's like, ah! <laughs> like, he'll, he'll, like, stop. Because, like, Anthony is taller than Emory, but Emory's more broad and only, like, maybe, like, well, at this point, Anthony uh, had a growth spurt, like, maybe, like, four inches taller. Mm. So, like, Emery is, a, like, a, a like um, like a Kurt Angle to his... <laughs> Undertaker? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, to, oh, so who's a little thinner than Undertaker? Oh, who's tall and thin? Big John Studd or, or somebody, but he's, like... They're, they're I just st- picked them because they had good chemistry in the ring together. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with that then. Like, they got good chemistry in the ring, and... <laughs> Like, like every uh, like uh, I wish I could record it, but I'm supposed to be being a parent. <laughs> like, they, they, yeah, I always like I watch those videos on the internet and laugh, but then I'm thinking, man, that parent just watched that shit go down and did nothing to stop it. Yeah, like you, like you, like they'll be doing something. You like you just want to like it. It's not like especially with parent. Like shit is funny ten minutes out of any situation. It is not the um, the fact that, you know, they fucking up and they doing stuff. It's like, it's kind of funny. 
Like, your son saying, well, well, fuck you. It's kind of like, well, where did that come from? And it's kind of, kind of like, that's kind of funny that you cussing me out and you're a little kid or you calling me out on my shit about something like, um, I was eating a popsicle today, um, a Edie's fruit bar, and I had to stick in my mouth. And Ember's like, that's not food. You're right. That's not food. I should have threw that stick away. <laughs> um, so he's like, give it here. I was like, well, no, nah, that's taking it too far. You're not going to take it from me. I can keep the fucking stick. I could tell my oldest is definitely my daughter because she does those little logic arguments where she's like, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, last week, you oh, said. Man, I hate that. like, damn it, shut up. <laughs> Uh, so that was last week. This is now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah, but I'm not you, like you that. Her. She's very like. She's argumentative. She's always bargaining. And yeah. She she's she is wise behind her years. We were watching. I told uh, Tyrell the story. We we're watching like I, we we're watching uh, how to one of one of the how you train your dragons. I don't know which one. And the two uh, the those the, movies are sad. What the what the, the last one? Uh, it was kind of sad because they. What? Should I be spoiling it? No, spoil that shit. We, we don't really got a how to train your dragon crowd. <sighs> All right. <laughs> You're okay, man. The drag, the I dragon. hope we're not offended anybody, but like, there's no how to train your dragon. Somebody's like, it's my from, shit. From what, like, before you get into it, I feel like what I gather you're going to say from the commercial I saw, it's going to be kind of like a Pokemon Butterfree situation where... The the dragon with the boy falls in love with another dragon, and they go off and make baby dragons. Yes, that's actually exactly what happens. Okay, but they go off the they go off to the hidden world and uh, the, they live away from the humans. So that's kind of what happened with dragon. Butterfree and Pokemon. Like Ash had Butterfree, and then <laughs> his Butterfree saw like a pink Butterfree and got all horny, and then he spent the whole episode trying to prove his worth to the pink Butterfree. At the end of the episode, they go off to go and pollinate, and make baby Butterfrees together. So he's saying free, free, like, is he asking to be That's free? how they talk. That's how they well, talk. I know. That's, that's, I'm just making a stupid joke. He's like, bad. butter free me, Dad, because I'm about to hit this. <laughs> about to make some Caterpies. Oh. Well, that was the evolution tree. It was Caterpie and the Metapod and the Butterfree. So the, 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 these kids, uh, the protagonist and the, <laughs> uh, and the uh, love interest look at each other all lovingly and everything, and I jokingly say, hey... I wish your mom would look at me like that one. <laughs> <laughs> and she's, and she's like, Dad, they're just kids. I was, I was laughing before you what you said. What you said was funny, but I was thinking because one of Butterfree's attacks is string shot. So, <laughs> I think I, you can you can piece that one together. <laughs> I kind of feel like uh, that's legit. You all like it, it does like it's it's nice to 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 feel wanted. Yeah, I, 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 yeah I, men want to feel desired too. Yeah, I think I, I, I like being courted because it means I don't have to try as hard. But you don't <laughs> like being stared at like a piece of meat. Yeah, I, 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 I am a man. <laughs> My eyes are up here, thank you. <laughs> I, 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 just have, I have to edit that episode where he's like, I don't, I don't, I I just don't like it. I don't look at me like a piece of meat. <laughs> I did listen to that today and laughed. <laughs> Um, what else happened on the vacation? I taught my kids dominoes. Oh. And, and the uh, kids we went on vacation with. Oh, we went on vacation with another family, if I forgot to mention that. Um, uh, the kids... I feel like the kids took the dominoes well. They really enjoyed it. It's in their blood. Yeah, <laughs> it is. I still think it's funny that your wife thought you, when you was playing dominoes, you were just building... <laughs> building to push them down. <laughs> Yeah, that's what she's like. Uh, I'm like, why do all these grown people want to play dominoes? And she figured out what the game was. I'm like, why? Like, she didn't know what that's dominoes were all these years. And that's a really funny episode of, of, of Master and None. Yeah. <laughs> when he does a stacker. Yeah, he just calls him over. Like, I remember I, playing that when I was a kid. Now, what was it like? You you got points for whatever you had left in your board when someone went out or something like that. Yeah, I, like, I haven't played this since I was a kid, so like the rules were kind of fuzzy. Yeah, you try to go out. And you get the points of the people who are uh, who are still ho- based on what they're still holding. Oh, okay. Then, That's why you try to get rid of a higher dominoes first. And then you try and like will you play to like a certain number or something. Uh, Is it like five hundred. Yeah, or something? something like that. We didn't really play it like like that strict of the rules, but like I, I mean, I know I was just asking because I have, like I said like my grandparents and I would play it like I would go to my grandparents on like Saturdays and stuff when I was a kid. 
And, like, we would do, like, uh, puzzles and, uh, you know, like, that kind of, like, board game kind of shit. And I remember we would play dominoes sometimes. Dominoes, motherfucker! I tried to get them to hold their dominoes right. Uh, maybe I guess got like one of those dominoes. What? Like in a tray? Like yeah, a, I should yeah. probably get them a domino tray because yeah. they can't they can't grip their hands around a domino, so they stack them in front of each other. They keep falling, and then their dominoes get seen and ruins the game. Hmm. I wasn't drunk enough to tell them it's like stop the, dropping your dominoes. It's because they're they're mixed, <laughs> they're mixed bloods. They don't have like the, the full grip. Of... <laughs> yeah, they got little hands, man. <laughs> I know that. I took that into consideration. And that's why you kept kept the other parts to yourself. But they they got to lay the dominoes down and just like kind of flip them up to see, like, okay, what I got, what I got. You're here. pumping them out faster than their hands can grow. <laughs> <laughs> With all that sex. <laughs> uh, what else has been going on with me? I've. Uh, Started off my forties with uh, writing. I think I complete. I completed my first first uh, short story. Are you going to continue with Ness with a YA um, with a YA novel? I, I I made it so I can read it to the entire family because I wanted the entire. So I'm not all my. I, I and you know what I'm using like as an idea book. Like, it was an old book that you guys gave me, uh, a leather bound book. With, it, was, it was for one of my. Uh, was, what. <laughs> It'll get bleaked out. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> it's a, a leather-bound book that that uh, was given to me by these gentlemen. You're about to break into some sort of Ron Burgundy type of thing? <laughs> I own many leather-bound leather um, books. <laughs> I'm not even upset you ate that big block of cheese. <laughs> Man, I'm upset. I'm, not even so upset. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. But uh, I've been writing down some ideas. Some are not for kids, but I wanted to be my short story to be, be able to read to the whole family. And my wife was pretty impressed. She's like, I read a lot of stories to the kids. I think this is better than 70% of it. She wants to see if I can get it published. I have no idea how to publish something. You just self-publish on Amazon. I, f- I feel like... So that's a breeze. That can just make, you can just make that happen. You can self-publish it yourself, which is literally so, like a setting. <laughs> so do you feel like you've been on a tear with, like, with different books and stuff like, like that, reading and listening? Do you feel like you've been getting some ideals from that? or? Yeah, I don't want to bite anyone's style, though. No, but like you kind of like listen to the, all the stuff that you like, and then you take bits and pieces from each one. And it becomes your style. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what I've been learning because I, I I've been listening to a lot of audio books lately. Like I have one that I'm like eighty percent done. I'll probably finish it tomorrow. And I just listen to them. They're all a lot of them have been in the same sort of vein. Fix uh, your life, bitch. Yeah, that well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in a, in a way. But like this, I look at. I more feel like, like if you name the books, like if you name that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like that, that that'll be like just like with the art of not giving a fuck. I, l- I listen to that book. It is sort of that, but at the same time, the name of the book is what get people to yeah. want to read that. It's got that wow factor. Like, oh shit, there's some, some shit I, here. <laughs> you tell me to fix my life and calling me a bitch, I have to have this book. Yeah. Uh, but no, like I've been listening to these books and like there's certain things that like I've appreciated about some of these books and like other p- bits that like I didn't really care for too much or whatever, but like... I've taken those th- those readings and like kind of like try to apply them to what I'm doing, but I'm not like copying everything like no, exactly no. laid out. Like it just becomes like a part of you, you know, and then you just make it your own. All right. It's like like doing a report in high school and plagiarizing a website in a way, but then just not citing the sources. I was thinking of uh, writing an uh, adult version of the same story to read to you, gentlemen, but I was uh, cautioned against reading on the podcast. With, uh, in full. Yeah, we, we give... Why not? I've been working on it. <laughs> yeah, we give away way too much good shit on this podcast. Someone's going to steal that food truck idea. Which, which one was that? We had several way we were. <laughs> we came up with a menu. The, a the, food truck menu. With nothing but pickles. Or the tater tots one, or the, uh, uh, the, the, the buffalo chicken sandwich with cream cheese. Nothing but pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just posturing this way. Jerkin' Gherkins. Oh my god. Yeah, I was. Jerkin' Gherkins. So Vanessa's little sister got married last week. And uh, she got married at a spot that me and Vanessa have long suspected as being either a swingers bar or a cougar hangout. 
Was it a Holiday Inn and in, in Independence? No, this is a... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> George that town, is a cougar bar. Georgetown slash Voss on the, on, the, on the west end of Lakewood. Lovely wedding. I didn't cry. Which, that I, I, Wedding can get, get your boy choked up. They just do. But I didn't cry this time. And, uh, but, sure as shit, cause they, you know, they, they had like, you know what I'm saying, they, she got married, like, outside. It's beautiful. It's fucking gorgeous. Like, it really was great. And then, like, they had, like, a party room in the back is where we did, you know, reception and shit at. But, in the bar, main bar restaurant situation, they had a band playing and shit. And like, if you like, I just like the, I, had to, I had to go out to the bathroom at some point, and then like Vanessa and her mom had to go get some shit from somewhere. And like, I stuck my head out there, and it was everything I knew it was, man. That shit right there, it was just, it was, it was, it was a cougar spot popping off with the band playing, and these older ladies dancing and shit. And like Vanessa's mom was like, you know, kind of dressed nice because she was dressed for a wedding, and one of the dudes starts dancing up on her and shit. And she's like, "Oh shit, you my mom! They got my mom!" <laughs> <laughs> so Vanessa had to rescue her mom from the the the, the, the dancing. I'm like, Did she being bounced between two guys like the uh, night at the Roxbury skit. Not, it's not that bad, but still, I just, I just, it's like I knew it. I always thought it, but then to have it like prove. But my own eyes was like, I knew this spot. I knew what this spot was, man. So how young were the Cubs there? <laughs> I, I I don't know, but I, I don't. I didn't look into that matter. I was just more like, yep, this is it. This is give, where this is where it goes down. It give this location to our for our twenty something more old listeners. Oh, it's on it's on the, on the west end of Lakewood. I would uh, tell you hit that up if you are trying to. You probably get some business handled. Listen, uh, you young you young punks. I haven't used that term in a while. Nah. Uh, I feel I feel it has more heft for me now that I'm in my 40s. Okay. Uh, but you feel uh, like you got old man strength yet? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I, if I knew in my early 20s, I wish somebody would have gave me this advice: go hit up a cougar spot, get some cougar pussy. Why not? You can, you, you learn a lot. Why not? I, She'll I, teach you things, young man. <clears throat> I kind of feel like every. Um, I mean, I think I've only, besides the person I'm currently with now, I've only dated, like, one other person younger than me. Two other people younger than me. Hmm. Like, I've always loved the taste of a, <laughs> of a flat pop. <laughs> it's like a fine wine. I don't, I don't really like wine that much, so I like a flat Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I like a Dr. Pepper with a little less bubble. I thought it was unfair to old to older women when uh, who was it? Uh, it was uh, Patrice O'Neill. He said that uh, pussy ages like uh, it doesn't age like wine; it ages like bread. And I'm like, oh, God, man, that's me. <laughs> that's why you see what that mouth do. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I just oh, an educated mouth. There you go. Yeah. Don't they take old bread and turn it into stuffing? Uh, shit, old, <laughs> old bread get moist. It get moist one way or another. You can add some egg to it or some stock. But uh, I remember, um, <laughs> like I, I had, I got the advice from my brother to be like, yeah, you know, just talk up some, talk up some women, and I did it. And this lady just tried to fuck me like right off the street. I was just like, nah, they can't. They don't. Women, older women don't play around. If you ain't ready to fuck, you need to not. Yeah. <laughs> you need to not do yeah, that. You, know, you can't be wasting their time. They don't no. play games. I know that. I know what I want. Yeah, they want that dick. Oh yeah, that, I forgot. And the lunch brought this up. Like the old lady to grab my dick in front of the ladies. They don't be playing. So no, don't get that advice to nobody who ain't ready. Ah, right, yeah, that's true. Be ready. I I, 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 I got hit by hit on by a cougar, and I wasn't ready because I was just taken aback. Not that she wasn't. Uh, we were. We're. This is another time at Putin Bay, and I was just like twenty two at the time, and like uh, this band we saw, uh, like uh, I'd say middle aged black men, and um, they were. Uh, uh, j- they did pretty good, and after they were mingling with the crowd and everything, and I just uh, went up to um, uh, one of them on, on my way out the door just to say, like, hey, man, I really dig your music. And the woman he was dancing with, she's, she's like, she put, took me on her shoulder and pulled me in, and she's just like, I just want to let you know 
that you're the best looking guy in here. And I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> it's nice to feel handsome. <laughs> and then I left when I should have stayed and fucked that old cougar. <laughs> but like I said, you got to be ready. That's the advice. Yeah. You're, like, cougars are like, are like firecrackers. <laughs> not jumping jacks. Not Roman candles. Like firecrackers. You like that bitch? You better know. You better either. You gotta. You gotta either. You gotta get out of there quick. I know it's the opposite. But getting out of there quick. You know you might get into it quick. You just gotta know what you're getting into. Yeah. Don't like that fuse unless you know what you're about to get into. You're ready for an ex- unless you're ready for an explosion. You stay. You're ready. ready for that old bread. You stay ready. You ain't gotta get ready. That's that's what it is, people. At that point. Yeah, it's 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 a valuable experience if you um if you're willing to 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 know what you're getting into because they don't waste time. Right. Well, I, I was I was hanging out with Vanessa's grandma and grandpa at, at the table we were at table number one. Word up, and uh, the most important tables. Vanessa's grandma was 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 discussed with me that something Vanessa had already discussed with me, so I, I was ready for this conversation. About how her this has nothing to do with cougars, people. I'm sorry. I'm really this is real. This is a real left turn. I'm getting you out of there. I'm back it out of the cougar zone. So she discussed with me how the flour she used for her holiday baking is in America currently on recall mm. and free cola, but that is available in Canada. And I'm sitting at the table, Grandma. I'm like, girl, I get you that flour. I don't even go any trip. All I'm saying, and she and she she don't believe me. I know she don't believe me. She just think I'm bullshit or just trying to talk that shit. But y'all niggas know your boy's quick to hop in the whip and make it up to Canada because I don't give a motherfuck. So I woke up that next morning. I like hanging there with Vanessa. I'm like, I'm gonna go to Canada. And she goes, No, I'm tired. I, don't, I really don't want to go to Canada. I'm like, I'm gonna go. <laughs> so I, I put my book on. I drove to Windsor, which is two and a half hours away. Windsor is the lick. It's the move. It's just like, it's literally just like, it's a quick little L-shaped bit of travel. It's 80 and then you hook it 75 and then your ass in Canada. It's, it's just the move to go to. For the first time ever, a lovely border crossing going into Canada. The woman was lovely, adorable. We discussed shreddies. She enjoyed the honey shreddies and, made sure, and told me, make sure you get a box of that while you're there. So forth and so on. The light. Coming back into the country, the opposite of what normally happens. I got a motherfucker who just wanted to ask too many fucking questions. And I'm like, my dude, he like, oh, so you work for this company. Well, you know, my uncle helped craft the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the merger of that company with this company and blah, blah, blah. What's your position at that company? I'm literally like, my title at the company I work at is unnecessarily convoluted and long, and I don't know it. Yeah, I, me neither. <laughs> that shit got several layers to it. It's it's a it's a number in that bitch. My job title that I have doesn't even match the job title they told me to put in my signature line. That word. <laughs> and so I'm like, I, like, bro, I don't know, man. It's, it's this with, with this number thrown into it, I, and I don't know your uncle or give. Uh, I couldn't just know really whatever. But he finally just like sent me on my motherfucking way. But the main point was I slid up to Superstore, which is actually called. Real Canadian Superstore, but nobody calls it that in Canada. They just call that bitch Superstore, so I just call that bitch Superstore, because that's what it is. And I, sure as shit, came back with two five-kilo bags of fucking Red Robin, Robin Hood, Robin Hood flour, which this woman cooks with, and I, I am, I am, of course, will forever be in the good graces of, of Vanessa's grandma, which is where you want to be with your, with your partner, with your partner's uh, family. You want to be on the good side of that shit. I think shit. she's not a racist grandma. Not that I've known of. That not, 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 not ever has nothing something slipped out of my mouth while I'm looking at her like, you know what I'm saying? I smoked reefer with a black before. That, 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 <laughs> that, that's a, that's more her her father and his whole scramble of family chat to worry about some old wild shit coming out their mouth like Muslim and so forth. <laughs> You'd be like, mm, okay. Well, forget he kept his yap shut the whole time. I've never seen him so well behaved at a family event before. It was very impressive, actually. So he had to walk his daughter down the aisle, and maybe they just held his ass at bay. Uh, Vanessa got to give a speech, which was pretty great. She learned about that speech about sixteen hours before it was due, because that's how her sister rolls. Mm-hmm. She's like, "You want to give a speech?" Like, okay. 
So Vanessa wrote a speech while very high. Oh. And uh, it was a pretty decent speech. And I did some punch-up work on the speech, and I felt good about that. So I, I got some. I, I, I get a writing credit on that on that speech. This was the second wedding for the man Vanessa's sister Mary. And so he didn't really have nobody come through. This guy, I guess one of his buddies wanted to do a speech. And it was the worst speech ever. And I think you know that. Uh, I don't know if they listen to this shit, but I think they. I think we all knew that. And in fact, we talk about it later. It's like that shit was just awful. It was nothing. It was nothing wedding speech worthy. It was just the dude saying, "I met this guy and know this guy from here." You didn't. You didn't say anything about his wife his, his, or his, his now wife. You didn't say how 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 they affect your life in any way, shape, or form. You just said you know him, you met him, so how you met him. That was his and best kept man? It moving. Now he's not. He, they, they didn't do like best man and nothing like that there. They just, it was just them two up there. It was just the guy who gave a speech at the reception. And his speech was, I met this guy at work. We worked together at two different jobs. I love this guy. He's great. And that was about it. And I'm like... Well, that would probably be my speech to you too. Like, this guy's great. No, I'm just kidding. I probably would be better. I... Uh, Yes, I I I I I, I, tr- tr- I trust it would be better. I can actually read you, and that's again I did punch up work on this, so this speech is actually I think still in my phone. Uh, speech version three point Yes, it is still in my phone. <laughs> did you name it three point or did the app? I oh. I named it version three point because like she wrote it, then I wrote it, then we came back together, wrote it again. So speech version three point mm-hmm. and, and so speech 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 versus speech. My boo boo won. Can we take Sarah as a competition? Okay. <clears throat> but, uh, but in general, oh, it's always a competition. It's, <laughs> uh, it's always a competition in that case. And, and what it is is like, in general, I was like, "Yeah, your speech rock." Because of course, my, my my girlfriend has the worst anxiety you ever want to believe. So she's immediately freaking out that she didn't do it right, or that people weren't appreciative, or whatever, whatever. But then, of course, I dug it. But I also did punch work on it. So you can't believe me. But her sister, like, I was sitting over there about to cry. I'm like, okay, that's all. That means you've done well. Nope, that's not good enough. But then one of the one of dudes cronies comes through and is like, yo, your speech was really good. It was so I'm so proud. Thank you. It was so great. Blah 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 blah. Touch him some way. It spoke to that motherfucker. And then that's what goes back. That's when the people moment. really do carry a lot of anxiety when it comes to that stuff. Yeah. Because when I went to the the wedding a couple weeks ago, uh my one buddy was the best man and he did the speech and the PowerPoint research thing. Yeah, the PowerPoint thing. And we were all thought he was gonna fucking blow it and we, yeah. he killed it and like we all had to be like, Yeah, dude, you fucking knocked it out of the park. Like yeah. it was great. Yeah. Like people really do like gotta get the recognition for that because that is nerve wracking. Well, it was it was that when it was when that, that <clears throat> perfect stranger told her, Yeah, that shit was a hype that I think she she settled and accepted that she did she did okay in the in the speech giving department. And I and I liked it. I'm, I, it's, it's, it's fucked up that it takes a stranger to say it, but it's dope that this nobody stranger said it to her because he don't know he don't know that he made my whole life easier that well, night. No, it's because yeah, it's <laughs> like when I'm around you guys and you guys tell me shit, yeah. it's hard for me to believe it. Because, nah, like, it's you like, think like, it's coming from a spot of love or, and, and respect for one another as opposed to us trying to be honest with you. Yeah. But the right person saying to you like, oh yeah, word. And then Anthony gonna look at you and be like, I told you that shit, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's gotten to the point where it's just like, uh, just like like with me not buying a dog, I'm tired of telling. <laughs> like, I'm tired of saying like, nah, I told y'all that before. Or I said that before. I just don't say nothing. I, unless I get real, real, like real, real, like, come on, man. <laughs> not really mad, but just the, like to the, the point. The disgust where, and disappointment is really starting to bleed through. <laughs> not even like disgust and disappointment is like, um, you just got. I just. I just realized about many people in my life that I maybe I say shit so much or like that. It's just like oh, Anthony said it. Well, I mean the thing about it though is like when it comes to shit like that, sometimes like you can hear something, but it still takes a while to like truly believe it or apply it. Um, maybe. But like show recommendations, I'm like, damn, I told you lunch, and you'd be like. Yeah, guess what I watched? Sit but two years at that time, me. I wasn't ready for it. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. At some point, I'm going to watch Flea, Bob, Flea Bag. Don't worry, man. I got you. Oh, man. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I told it like, before Achievement, not even one day, I was like, Flea Bag is good. I but right. I still ain't watched Flea Bag, but. I knows? remember, like, like four years ago, I was singing No Flex. He was like, what is that bullshit? 
Then next week, you heard this song, No Fun Zone? <laughs> Did we see? We saw it in concert. That was yeah, at, that was way after. That was, that was way after the fact. Yeah, I was listening you to No Fun Zone when I was still working in your guys' they department. They know better. What's going on with those guys? Where they at? They me in Trinidad, James. I need some people to some people who who came with some hot shit and then disappeared. I need y'all to come back. Yeah, Trinidad James hosts the show on Amon Complex. Really? Like, it's a sneaker show. Oh, well, still. Man, Complex Con seems like right up your alley. Complex Con? Yeah. You know what? A lot of things seem right up my alley, and I don't want to do any of it. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, a lot, it's funny. Like, I don't know. People really... It's a lot. It's really so that it sounds good in theory. Right? Yeah. But then you realize you'd have to go somewhere with people and, and actually, like, make effort. Yeah. And it just becomes like, eh. And the, the fact that I can't take Emory and Anthony with me is kind of like, huh? Yeah, I want to know what ended up happening with you on uh, Veterans Day. Like, did you have your... your, your... Oh, yeah. I, I guess I can tell that story. So, man, I was just like dead set on not doing shit with my family <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, on Veterans Day. And, like, the night before... It might, yeah, I think it might have been the night before... Like, Emery started, uh, no, that night, like, Emery was, it was like he was a, a college student, not get up. I was like, what's that funky smell in here? He had threw up in his bed, which is fucking dangerous. Because, I mean, he's a little kid, it was yeah, throw up right. in the bed. For sure, for sure. And I was just like, what the fuck? And then I was like, man. And I had even called my mother, like, man, mom. You have to take care of Emory. <laughs> 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 uh, because I, I, like... Yeah, he's sick. He he had the poops in his diaper uh, like once, and he threw up in the bed. And I'm off, and I'm taking this day. And she was, was like, "I respect the fuck out of that." <laughs> and I was just like, "We." He got his probiotics and stuff like that. He went on to school, and I got up. I took them to daycare. I took Anthony to school. Um, I didn't get lemon ricotta pancakes, which was number one on my list. But I didn't do that. I went to um, I went to Big Lots, looked around there, and it's like, even like as a black man, I don't like going in the stores and not buying <laughs> shit. I didn't give a fuck that day. I looked around in the store. I didn't, I didn't buy nothing. <laughs> <in there. laughs> I just looked around. I went to Ollie's. I was like, man, I didn't even know we had an Ollie's in Mentor. I looked around there, didn't buy shit. I got me some chicken wings from um, from KFC. I didn't worry about did I get enough for everybody. I just had some chicken wings for me. I ate them in the car, threw bones out the window. I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. <laughs> bones are biodegradable. You good, man. Throw yeah, the bones out the is, but it's still gross until they biodegrade. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big proponent of it's not littering if it's biodegradable. I'm always throwing banana peels. Out my window. No wonder there's so many. Like um, yeah, I just it, like just enjoyed the day. Uh, uh, when I got home, I um, I came home and took all the toys off the front porch and put them in the garage. And the, the kids was mad as fuck. Like, what? What the toys go? I'm like, like put them up, man. End of the season for these toys. And, I'm, and, the, and like, Emory still asks every day, like, what are toys? <laughs> I want to play. I want to play baseball in the front yard. It's like, uh, not not no more this year. Season's over, kiddo. I'm, yeah. I'm glad you did that because I remember talking to you that week prior and you were hemming and hawing about what you were going to do. and Oh, yeah. Like, talk about taking your kids to, like, Chuck E. Cheese and shit. And I'm like, nah, son. Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese you is... You don't get, like, hardly any days anymore. Not like, in you, four you, years. Yeah. And you got this one shot to just have, like, a you day. You got I was like, it. mom's spaghetti. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, but, like, I just spent the day, like... I. I didn't rush home. Like, I came home. Like, my girlfriend works from home. And she was like, what you about to do? I was like, none of your business. And then um, I came home. <laughs> and, um, what did I, I, I made something for dinner. I, was, I think I made tacos or something like that. So, I, like, I had to go to the store and get taco shells. But other than that, I didn't, I didn't, I, I wasn't home all day. Because if Emory would have stayed sick, I would have went to my mother's house and, my mother's like, you could have just came over here and dropped them off. I was like, I, I know I could have. Like, my mother retired a couple months ago. And, like, she was just like, man, it's like the best decision I ever made. Because, like, um, and, like, she's doing it, like, not to get too much in my mother's business. But, like, 
<clears throat> she didn't even take her retirement money because she's she retired, but she didn't. She's not retirement age. Yeah. So she was like, they ain't taking twenty percent of my motherfucking money. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so she she says she'll wait till until she's retirement age to take her retirement money. Yeah. Like she's just like living off of like um, her her rental proper property money. So she was just like, I don't go nowhere. I was like, that's that's pretty great. She's enjoying retirement. Yeah, I've come to realize that, like, you got to have those times where you just get, like, some new time and you reset. Because, man, I I was going so hard with working and then traveling and everything for those last couple months that by the time I got to last weekend, we had that three-day weekend. Mm -hmm. Even though, like, I could have gone in and, and made some more money and shit, I refused. I was so burnt out mentally that, like, I just couldn't take it anymore. And I just had to have that break. Like, and I know, like, for you, it's not, like, a, a anxiety, stress-filled thing like it was for me, necessarily, because it's, like, your kids and you, and all that stuff. Yeah. But, like, you're still you, and, like, you know, you still have stuff that you enjoy and all that, and, like, you don't have time for those things anymore. So it's nice to get that, that in every now and again. Yeah, I, like, it's, it's funny. Like, I haven't been to, like, I, I've been, like, every once in a while, but I used to love going to, the like, to the Goodwill and stuff. I'm like... No, they put shit in their mouth. No, you can't go to the Goodwill. You don't, like, I tell you to wash your hands and you don't fucking do it. <laughs> I tell you to take this baby wipe and wipe your hands. <clears throat> and sometimes it's a fight. Not not necessarily what, what Spud, because he's older now. And, like, me and him kind of have, like, an understanding about stuff. Like, I tell you to do it. It's for your own good. It's like a, a 70-30, um, 70-30, he might do it, he might not. Mm -hmm. But I'll be like, hey, is Hash Brown some Duncan involved? You, he'll do it. I but, mean, now that you're now that your mom is retired and she's not doing anything, like I imagine she likes watching the kids. Yeah, she this she would be a good opportunity for you to like maybe plan some more outings and you know. Nah, I'm okay. Oh. I feel like I don't mean like sneak away days for yourself, but I oh mean, no, like, I, I, I like right now. Like yes, my mother's retired. Like she can like she can take the boys, the boys more often. I don't have to miss work. It's like the most one of the most important things, but like. I respect the fact that my mother is willing to do it and the best thing is I like I can still say like nah I, I can still give her the like, cause she's supposed to be resting and stuff like um so I try not to like to over to overdo it but like sometimes like well, she she's she takes good care of the boys and like Emery don't even give me hugs half the time. He be giving her hugs. <laughs> so I know they like being over there. Um, but like I said, it's, I'm looking forward to like, you know, 2024 where I can stop paying $300 a week for um, for daycare and, um, and have some vacation time too. That's going to be dope. Hopefully we still got a job. I, I don't even got a car payment out of, out of not paying for child care no more. I, that's when I bought a car. When I was when I was done with paying a sitter. Yeah. That shit was, yeah. Man, I can't wait till my car payments are over. <laughs> I was eagerly anticipating that shit. Yeah, like, um, it, like me and my girlfriend were talking about, uh, like, Christmas lights and, yeah. like, decorating your yard. Yeah, yeah, you was talking about that. And, and, uh, and she, she was like, well, day year is almost over. Yeah. Like, we're going to be balling a little bit. <laughs> like, just like, just thinking about that, like, we have to, like, this, we have one daycare provider with a home provider. She takes good care of the kids, but she takes a lot of time off. And now, like, to, to you know, spit in our nose, she's fucking closing forever. And it's like... Wait, What? Like the daycare lady is closing. She's just in December. She at the end of December, she's done. She out the game at the end of the year. Yeah, she do, she's not going to do it anymore. And like I'm like, is she older? No, oh. she's younger than she's younger than she's younger than me. And like um like she her and my girlfriend went to school together. That's how this whole thing came about. And I'm just like, it's fucking up the game. And now we're gonna have to pay more for daycare because like. She was unreasonable about, about some, most shit. She was reason, she, she was reasonably priced, and like she took takes great care of the boys. Like, um, has, has, sounds like she's quick with the discipline on the timeouts. 
Actually, she's not. She she was. Oh, she's putting out a front because you were standing there. Yeah, probably so. I don't know. She maybe she's that's why she's the last run around pushing everybody. Yeah, like she just be she like they're running the Thunderdome. Like every uh, it's, it's funny like every time like they get in a fight or something and it's only so many kids there she'd be like well Emery was hitting a child today and I told him to stop and he didn't stop now to give him a time out who the fuck did he hit man just tell me <laughs> no I'm not gonna tell you who he hit but I asked him not to do it again and he did it again <laughs> and I'm like did you it's like then I had to give him a time out to talk to him and I'm like, okay. But like she's she like I said, she's good with the kids. The husband is um is pretty good with the kids. And like they're gonna go from pretty much having two homes to like to another now they gotta go to a facility. Which is gonna be difficult, but that's such is life. It's not gonna be for too much longer. Yeah. The years are rolling by already. Emory will be three in June. Like, um Anthony is like you know, not student of the month again, but hey, he's still rocking out in school. Like they, they were like, "Is he always this quiet and nice?" I'm like, "No, he's not that quiet." <laughs> Bruh, I, I have come to appreciate when my children's teachers say how well behaved they are and how yeah. nice they are. My kid in honors choir now, I, and, that, and that came from nowhere. I'm like, "Oh, okay, he's entering honors choir, cool." And, and I'm like, I went to go get him yesterday, and I was like. Oh, they put y'all in the because y'all the good kids in class. They like, yeah, kind of pretty much. You know what I'm saying? I'm like that. I get it, great though. I get it. You can sing, you know what I'm saying? But it's also because y'all probably are the good kids, and 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 he was he got, and they kind of him and his uh the one of the people, other people in the choir, kind of agree with that shit. And I, and it means it makes me feel like I've done right. Yeah, I, I understand. It's kind of like yes, they fuck up at home because that's where they're most comfortable. Yeah, like they do listen to what you say for the most part. But goddamn, just do a little bit of it at home sometimes. Yeah. But yes, they're like Anthony has a great day every day. Like Anthony does this, Anthony does that, and he. Was, I just remember talking to him about being student of the month. He was like, and them other kids was like not listening and stuff, and just called my name. Yeah. <laughs> like um, I was just like, yeah, he 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 knows how simple it is. Um, He's out there taking those presidential pictures. Too. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he took some good pictures. But, like, uh, I was afraid because I'm like, I paid $33 for, this, for these pictures. And, like, his student of the month picture, he got the goofiest smile. I'm like, uh, well, oh, yeah. The day before that, we took uh, family pictures. Like, my mother came out and shit like that. Man, them kids fucked up the whole time. Like, <laughs> we took, we tried to take pictures. And, um, like, so we go to J.C. JCPenney where everybody goes to take pictures. Yeah. We go there. You know, they they dress in button-up shirts. We got on button-up shirts. My mother come, like, not only, like, she's there to, to help with them, but she's going to, you know, we, to have a family picture. Yeah. And, like, like, from the beginning, it's just a whole setup. Like, they running around. Emery eat a, he probably that's why he probably shit on himself the next day. He had a skittle off the floor. I'm like, oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> um, and so we get in there, and it's like everybody is like that's coming out of the studio. It's like, oh my god, this guy's the best photographer we ever had. And we get him, and like, like stand right there on the red dot, and they'll stand there for a second. Then they don't. <laughs> like I wish I had the pictures to show y'all because it was so many fucked up pictures. And, like, they don't pay attention. They don't look. Like, I'm looking all fucked up because, like, I'm holding Emery to death because he's squirming around, like, just face forward. Yeah. Just face forward. And it was, like, it was, it was the worst experience I've had with taking pictures. And then you get to the counter and they're like, well, for $100, you get to, diz you get to dizzily own these. I'm like, I don't want these fucking pictures. <laughs> what? Like, look, we'll take these and these and these. We'll pay four forty nine for these, and that's it. You can have these digital pictures. I don't give a fuck. It was just like if if my girlfriend hadn't paid for that shit, I would have left. <laughs> I would have left. I would have left. I was like, there's no reason to pay for these pictures. Look at my face. I got a grimace on my face because like. I'm holding my son. And he's doing this. He's like, okay, switch. 
And one of the things that my older son does, <clears throat> which I don't appreciate, is he'll do what the other one's doing. I'm like, you two, he too, you four. <laughs> Stop. He's like, but he fucking up so good. I want to do that. That's how it goes at work. Like, <laughs> oh, I'd be, shit. <laughs> I'd be quiet, but then there's like this one lady who just like instigates. Uh-huh. And then when she starts instigating, I start instigating. She was off today and I was quiet as shit. Yeah, it, it's certain people like you vibe off of, but in negative ways, mm-hmm. like you'll just be like, "Yeah, I'm a fuck up." It's too. like she she it's like she throws the rock into the lake, and then I see the ripples, and the next thing I know, I want to go swimming. Yeah, yeah, I, I wish they would stop being like that, but I guess that's just part of what brothers do. Right, and like I said, fuck them digital pictures. <laughs> I'm not paying. I will, like I didn't. I want, mean, if anything, you could take the ones that you bought and just scan them yourself. I mean, and they send you an email, other pictures. You could just, um, we, um, just if you have most. I don't know if you can do it on. I, I don't know about iPhones, but just pretty much, like I have a note. I just expand it and, uh, and cut and paste it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, them prints good enough. Mm-hmm. Four ninety nine is fine. Um, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like we need to take pictures ever again. Never. We did it two years ago. Um, Anthony, it's this one picture where Anthony looked like he yelling at Emery face. I'm like, that ain't cute. <laughs> it's, so, real, it's real though. It's real. Uh, but yeah, no more. I don't. I don't want to take no more. Shit, I got tagged into a picture. I guess that like we took like ten years ago. Mm-hmm. I don't remember taking that fucking picture. Um, I'm definitely wearing like. Jorts and a, bat, a LeBron jersey and like a like a New Era cap. I was I was very uh, hood fly. Yeah, like um, and that's another thing. I was just like, in those pictures, I'm like, I lost a little bit. Of, I was like, man, I look super fucking pudgy in these pictures. What's the use? I'm not going to the gym no more. What the? I lost. I lost already. I'm still pudgy. What's the difference? But um, yeah, I don't um. And it was, I forgot we was at the gym. I don't know if we talked about this on the show where we were talking about being at a restaurant. And then I was like, no, nah, I can't eat the last piece of pizza because I'm fat. He was like, you ain't fat. And I was just like, I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to fat, not fat shame me? <laughs> this motherfucker over here is the skinniest motherfucker in this room calling himself fat. I just happen to be the skinniest person in this room. <laughs> I'm still, like, uh, I still got 20, 26% body I fat. I see you in the gym changing. You barely, like, you, you, there's barely anything there. I got something. You got, like, enough cushion for the push-in, but, like, That's it. you ain't, like, excessing. Yeah. Well, I still, I still, just like everybody else, when I get in the swimming pool, my t-shirt is still on. Oh. Just like everybody else. Yeah, I'm a top of swimming. I, I took mine off, uh... In Florida, well, I went in, 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 in Toronto. In the I did it in Orlando too. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, the first day there, I went swimming at my sister's uh, hotel's pool, and I had. Yeah, how I had your eyes doing? I went, I went Ross. How's your eyes doing? Cause them hotel pools, you be in the lobby that uh, you can smell that damn chlorine. Oh, it was yeah, dude. My clothes stunk. Man, chlorine is a bitch. Well, Daniel, what do you have for the class today? We, you, we, 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 you be the last man up. Yeah. Then? We'll wrap it up with you, baby. Man, I'm the one that looks like I'm about to pass out. <laughs> um, all right, so I talked about the Cavs thing you said. Yeah, you talked. Well, yeah, you talked about the lady who played you at the at the at the, at the, the Cavs. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, did I talk about Orlando? Uh, yeah, I, think so. I don't remember if we recorded. Yes, we, I came we, back we, we, t- we talked about your sister getting caught up in the in the fucking. The, okay. In the, in the fucking uh, um, air, whatever. The the timeshare situation. Yes, we okay, can discuss okay, that. Okay, it's it's been a couple of crazy weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Had, to, had to remember where I left off at. Um, so I had my wellness exam for work last week, the other day. Yeah, and I'm officially uh, high blood pressure free. Excellent. I did it without pills. Thank you very much. You know, you booze or lose, drugs are whack. <laughs> don't do crack. Uh, so I was pretty happy about that. Um, I have now put myself into a panic, because apparently, while I was gone in Orlando, 
we had like a bit of a snowstorm, hailstorm situation thing up here okay. on Halloween, from what I was told. And now, keep in mind, I got back, and I got back at like 1 o'clock in the morning, so it was dark outside. And we're in daylight savings time now, so it gets dark super early. Like, the sun's just kind of coming up when I leave to go to work. Yeah. And then when I come back from work, it's long since gone. <clears throat> so, like, I haven't really seen the outside of my house in the light since I got back from Orlando until the other day. So, like, I got up on Saturday because I refused to go in and do overtime because, like I was saying earlier, like, I was just stressed out. I did, like, I've been traveling multiple times. I've gone to weddings. I've had social obligations that I put myself in. I was working 50-plus hours a week for just multiple weeks in a row. And I finally just wore out. I, I, I broke down. I didn't want to do it anymore. My attitude was starting to become really piss poor. I was getting moody. I was being a dick. Like, I just, I needed a break. Like, I am someone who, when I get to that point, like, I need just silence for a while. I need to go relax. I need to go, like, just watch TV, take a nap. I need to, like, take a break from everything so that I can reset and get back to normal. So that was my plan Saturday was I needed to get the oil change in my car because I was like 300 miles over on the oil. Mm -hmm. I needed to get a haircut because I hadn't had a haircut in two months. And I, I this year, had been getting a haircut practically every month. So I was like a month behind on that. And I needed to get my wellness exam done. So I'm like, Saturday, I'm going to get up. I'm going to try and knock this shit out. I'm going to try to be a responsible adult. Then I'm going to relax then I'm going to drink some alcohol, watch this wrestling pay-per-view Saturday night, and just have a nice, relaxing evening. You did get the pay-per-view. <laughs> so I got up. I, I went to the barber shop, got my hair cut, went and got the oil change done. Then I came home because my buddy, who was going to watch the pay-per-view with me, is the one who hit me up about going to Aurora Farms. Yeah. And I didn't have nothing going on in the afternoon. Honestly, my plan was to come home and take a nap. And I was like, you know what? I ain't never been to Aurora Farms. I'm curious. I'll go with you. So I, I, he was at work, and he said he'd come scoop me up after he got off, and we'd head out that way. So I get home from the oil change, and I park my car in the garage, and I come out, and I notice that there's a roof tile shingle like on the, the ground in the backyard. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, oh, shit, maybe that blew over here from somebody else's house or something. Then I look up, and I've got two spots on my roof where like the shingles are fucked up. I immediately, I'm like, what the fuck do I do? Because, like, I've never had to deal with this before. Yeah. So, my first instinct was like, all right, call your stepdads. Like, see if he can give you some sort of insight. And he's just like, oh, I'll, I'll call around and I'll get back to you. <clears throat> Man, it's been a week. I ain't heard from that motherfucker since. <laughs> so, I, I got, and then I texted you guys. And, like, you said about, like, hitting up the insurance company. And, like, it, I, and I'll, I, I was like, that seems a bit excessive for two patch spots. But, like, I haven't done anything yet. Mm -hmm. I did look into it. I can not file a claim. But, like, I was also, like, I was, like, talking about it at bowling the other day. And everyone's just, like, that's super easy. They're, like, you can just literally go to Home Depot, buy a couple shingles, put them on, and, like, you're good to go. They're, like, shit blows off in the wind all the time. Like, it's just a patch. Like, it's... Well, when you bought the house, what was the last time they said your roof? Would be? They said I wouldn't need a roof for probably at least 10 years. Okay. So... <clears throat> With that being said, if it's ten years, roofs usually are are between ten and seven. Like you, like every seven to ten years. So did they just not do it? That's what I was saying. Like, I thought it, like the roofs are good for twenty. It de it depends on the roof. Because like when the guy did the inspection, I was here, mm -hmm. and he said that the roof had about ten years worth of life left on it. And that was three years ago. Well, still. <clears throat> like if it's a patch missing, like a, a, a roof is one of those things where like little stuff, like having a, a that missing or reason that came off, it can be some not so big and it can be some big. So having somebody professional look at it or hey your insurance company come out and be like, can you assess this for me? Is well the thing about you know, it is I was like why I haven't done it yet is one like I wanted to gather more information because yeah. I wanted to look around the roof to see like if there was anything I noticed that like, was going on but it's in like two completely opposite ends of the house yeah. and there's like there's no like shrapnel on the ground or nothing there's no tree limbs around like 
I, I, it literally looks like the wind or whatever was just so bad that it fucked up two spots up there. And there's like a little spot in the middle where like there's like one single shingle missing or whatever. Yeah. But it's like the other two spots, it's like I can see the beams underneath it. So it's like it's where the it wraps on the gutter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like the wind pulled it up and just yanked it out. Because it's on the ground and it's not like shattered or nothing. It, like, it's like it just popped off. So I want, but like, I wasn't sure. I'm like, do if I make this call, like, do my insurance premiums go up? Like, it would seem foolhardy to like get my insurance up if something that I could spend sixty dollars at Home Depot, hop up on a ladder and just pound in myself. Like, so it's like I was like weighing the the risk reward of all that. Is it, for, I guess, close <laughs> enough to the edge of your roof? Yeah, it's that literally, you gotta, you it's literally go, next to the gutter. Okay, so you don't got to go climb yeah, it up. Yeah, it's like no one has to actually go on the roof. You can literally stand on the ladder. Just they, everyone said that you just take out the bits from the old shingle that like broke off or whatever that's still there. Yeah. You pop up the last layer, put the new one underneath it, hammer the shit in, and just make sure that it's secure and you're done. Yeah. <clears throat> they made it sound like it was like a 45 minute thing. It, it doesn't take long, but like at the end, uh, but also like, is the paper good underneath? Is it coming up because it's wet underneath? Like, yes, you could just fix it, but, yeah, like, like yeah, you yes, you can just fix it, but sometimes that's just, that it can be other underlying problems. It's just, it's, it's the season, that's cold as shit out there, man. It's like, I don't know. I get it. <clears throat> yeah, if, you, if you can fix it, fucking fix it, but. Yeah, you, I, I don't, like, um, it's good to have, like, a dude in, like, when you get to uh, next time you get to work, I uh, know this is a problem. But um, ask um, ask old Unky. He uh, like ask him to, uh, does he have a dude? Well, that's the other thing. The 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 one dude I know, uh, drunk Mike. Mm-hmm. He was a roofer before his current job. Yeah. So like I literally could call him over because like he did roofing when we were all living together. Like he did roofing for like three years. Mm-hmm. So like. If you, I needed someone to get up there, he has exper- actual experience, some experience, expertise in, in the putting manager. in shingles and shit. Yeah. So, yeah, he probably owes you a favor. Or yeah, two. Oh, oh yeah. Like I'm, I'm willing to bet that I could hit him up, and he wouldn't even ask me for anything. He would just come over and help me. <clears throat> I think that's your bet right there. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> but that was one of the things though, where I'm just like, I came back from vacation, and I was already kind of like cautious about going on vacation because it's one of those things. It's almost like. When your eyes are too big for your stomach, and you bite off more than you can chew, like I'm just like I came back from Vegas a couple weeks prior. Then I had two weddings I had to go to and give gifts for, and you know I have my normal bills on top of all that. And then I'm going to Orlando. Then I knew that like my car insurance was coming up right when I got back, and like they they're like here's your premium for the year. So like I'm like so it's like I, I went through all this shit where I, that's why I was working all that overtime to try and help cover all that shit. And then, like, it's like I'm back for a couple days. I'm stressed out. I come home, and I'm thinking this is going to be my day to relax. I look up. Oh, shit, my roof's fucked up. Yeah. And I'm just like, God damn it. <laughs> it's like you try to fucking just relax and yeah. chill time. And so then... I'm like, fuck, man. I'm like, but I'm like, in that moment, I'm like, well, nothing I can do in this moment. Yeah. So I just need to go on with my day and figure it out. So uh, I went out. He picked me up. We went out to the, the, the store, and then... We, uh, well, the, the outlet mall, I guess. It was multiple stores. And I ran into a buddy there. I uh, hadn't seen in a while. I had a nice chat. We uh, said we should get together for dinner. And then we went to this restaurant, chatted up a Canadian bartender who I over my love of Kit Kats. <laughs> then uh, came back here uh, after I stopped at Giant Eagle real quick. The local grocery store picked up a gallon of unsweetened tea to <laughs> make some... Uh, Crown Royal Peach unsweetened tea <clears throat> mixer drinks as I watched a wrestling pay-per-view for AEW um, that we actually did pay for and missed the first 15 minutes because my one buddy has a phone addiction. <sighs> yeah, like, we're at the restaurant and it's not like, like, out like fucking Bainbridge or some shit. It's, like, all the way on the east side. Yeah. And... That's... <laughs> That's far. Bainbridge is uh, well, Jagged Lake. <laughs> isn't that like the well, city you get off to get to Aurora Farms at? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like we That shit is far. That's almost, that's almost, that's pretty south. All right. Well, from from here, we had to east to get there. You, you had to go a long way. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and it's like, he knows the shit started at eight, and like, he's sitting there, like, just fucking stay playing on his phone. Like, I'm sitting there, I already finished my food. I've asked our waitress for the checks and shit, and he's still just like, 
playing around on Snapchat and whoring it up on Facebook Messenger and <laughs> scrolling through Tinder. And I'm just like, dog, we've got a 25-minute drive. We still have to stop at Giant Eagle, and it shit starts in 35 minutes. Finish your last four ounces of your beer and get the fuck off your phone. Let's go. <laughs> I'm like, I don't understand why we have to go through this every time we go somewhere. We're always late because you can't get off your fucking phone. No, no, no. This one you got to just be like, get up and start heading for the door. If you've done everything you bought, I wasn't doing, driving. So oh. I'm, I'm, I'm walking outside. I'm my ass waiting in the cold for him. Oh, uh, yeah. You got to. You Never gotta, not drive. <laughs> yeah. You got to push the whip when it's them situations. Like, I'm driving, bro, because you kind of smell some bullshit. At least, at least you're in control of your destiny at that point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but. Cool. Thanks for catching up the listener on the, on the life, life and times of Dan. Yeah, don't don't save it all because we still got to record on Tuesday. Save stuff. Yeah, yeah. We good. We <laughs> but uh, this is where we gonna come and bring this to a close. I gotta go to work in a few hours. Well, I ain't gonna. Three of us gotta go to work in a few hours. And I am. I I gotta work with three kids. So yeah, four you gotta, kids. Yeah, you got a sleepover problem tonight, don't you? Yeah, yeah. We uh, well, we traded off one kid to go sleep at another friend's house. For two other kids to come over, so we only net gained one child. <laughs> net gained one child. Net carbs of one child. <laughs> yeah, so uh, most of them were sleeping when I left, and I haven't got a text like, all oh, these kids are awake and are driving me crazy, so that's, uh, you're that's a good sign. You're, you're also on airplane mode, so. We'll well, I got the Wi-Fi connected. We'll see where, we'll see where this all heads. <laughs> when, I, when I put airplane mode on, it turned my Wi-Fi off. No, I, turned, oh. I had, I, yeah, I had to, did the same thing to me. I had to turn it back on. <laughs> I have to go shopping after this for breakfast stuff in the morning. Nice. I do too because I'm going to be at work and I, I'm not going to be making breakfast, so I had to. I got to get some waffles. But in that morning, I'm making I need waffles. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that was episode 327 of Stay Scrunching Milk, your friendly neighborhood uh, podcast. I know you fuck with it. I know I do. And this skim stays crunchy and milk, not 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 bras and um. <laughs> uh, yeah, not shapewear. Yeah, shapewear. You know what I'm saying. Don't be trying to steal my, 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 my shine, Kim Kardashian. I just turned off airplane know. mode, and it's like all these fucking messages like, are flooding. Yeah, my shit's going crazy. What? I want some dick lunch with you. <laughs> <laughs> Come over, my parents are home. Yo. I'm uh, a cougar, and I want it now. Hold on, I gotta get Seinfeld to drop me off. But the, Make sure you uh, rate, review, subscribe, share the show. Get out there and do the damn thing. Go hit up our merch shot situation, because it's popping. Uh, get our lambskin condoms. We out here, you know what I'm saying? But uh, they will not prevent AIDS, but they will prevent pregnancy. Uh, so hold on, as long as you uh, properly. I heard that's what, what Charlie what, Sheen like to wear. What's up with lambskin condoms? I don't know. I've never used one before. Yeah, they're very not. Awesome. I used condoms before, just not lambskin. They're made out of lambskin. Like that's the fate of the the lamb. It's been like was it like, like I died? I put my sauces in sausage dead. skin, pretty much. I don't. I don't. You, don't fu- you never fucking condoms to begin with, bro. It's okay, man. Let's 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 let's, let's, let's not worry. You, you know you ain't concerned. So <laughs> people who don't eat swine like to tell you they don't fuck with swine uh, skin condoms either. <laughs> uh, best Tatum two one six. I'm yeah. I'm kind of curious now. It's too bad condemnation closed in 1998. <laughs> I think pig skins would make a much better condoms. Like they're like uh, they they make. No, uh, they would. Your dick smell like bacon. Yeah, a football yeah. don't smell like bacon. Muslims couldn't use them hoes. Yeah, man. that'd doing? be a great use though for like dating someone like you guys who don't eat swine or like can't use this condom, baby. You, you don't like pig in you. What? I can't use this. <laughs> this is a pig, bro. You don't like pig parts in your body. Yeah, I don't eat. Uh, I don't take pills with gelatin. Why am I supposed to wear this condom? That's lost by Suzy or not? Nah. Good that, point, Lunch. That was me. That is the uh, real ODP. <laughs> I'm often cur- curious if they uh, if there's like a factory out there that produces uh, uh, young blonde um, uh, conservative talking heads like T one eight hundred. T eight hundred uh, Terminators. Mm. It does seem to be every time I see that. that Tommy Lauren lady on Twitter, I go, God damn it! Like I hate you so much. Is she attractive? Hell yeah. No. <laughs> she has to fly my cat, but I don't like blondes. Yeah, I'm not. Um, I'm not really into blondes. Um, There's but... been so many times with like even like, like I would say with that particular person. 
where like I've quote tweeted what the, whatever bullshit they said, started to type out some shit, and then I went, nah. And I just hit delete and got back off Twitter. I'm like, this is why I don't go on here. Because I do shit like, I, I almost do stupid shit like that. I need to get the fuck out of here. There's 50 um, conservative girls just look just like her out there tweeting the same shit. So, like, hmm. how, do you, how do they pick which one they like? Maybe she's the younger one. Hmm. Uh, maybe I need to get back on Twitter. I'm missing out on these luscious, luscious women. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm missing out on anything. It's all block game for me, man. It's all, Oops. I'm, I'm I block time with her right now. Wow, uh, she was that one of the people you were harassing? Like, I hope that you get. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you can fuck with a thick skin condom. Oh man! I am the internet's Tayro Seven Thirteen. You have just been podcast. I don't know you loved it. We spent a night at Lunch's house. It's close to the work anyway. Peace. <laughs> we're having our own sleepover. <laughs> hey, what happened to you? You used to be rude of you.